It's Halloween Eve, it's a wet and misty night and we're here in the darkest place in the southeast is what it looks like. It's Faith Leg and this is on the back of a call we got to be breakfast a couple of weeks ago regarding haunted activity in the southeast and we heard about a haunted mine and Alex lives locally. Step in here Alex for a moment. Tell us a bit about the uh, what you told us originally when we spoke to you on Beat Breakfast. I grew up here as a young lad and um, several times I've seen a few things that have been unexplained to me anyway. Now, some people don't believe me, some people do. There's several things that will make you, your skin crawl now and you'll see them hopefully tonight. So, Well, maybe not hopefully. We're here deep in the woods, Alex. What's the story here? Uh, this is a, a local spot. This is where there's scouts and there's, there's cubs that come down here as well and they, they often camp and have an Are they sing- mad? Yeah, yeah they <laughs> often have an old sing-along down here now and obviously none of them would know the things that happen down here but um, as a young lad I've been down, I was down here several times as you do growing up you know having the old bonfire and having their crack with the lads mm. and whenever you're sitting here and you have the fire lit and you're having a chat and you're nice and quiet there's always something or it sounds like branches breaking and you can hear kind of strange noises and stuff coming from over that direction and then it comes from over this direction and it just goes back and forth and back and forth and it's never I've never understood it because there's nothing back there only there's only trees and stuff in the other bit of woods there there's uh, a closed off shaft sorry Colin said I just scared the life out of me there <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's alright um, there's, a, there's a shaft in there um, and it's said to be about 60, 60 foot drop, of a sheer drop well wow. straight down which as you can see it literally you're, you're looking down the black hole of this there it's um it's something I stumbled across when I was a kid. Um, thankfully, I stumbled across it and didn't stumble into it. Yeah. Um, as you can see, see, you can see the rope on the side. I'll see if something falls. You can see it down there. Right, we've wandered the golf course and found the mysterious tunnel. Uh, this isn't eerie at all, Alex. What's the story with this? Um, this here is actually a lot of people seem to think this is kind of a, like an outside storage mm. of coins back in the day, but this actually goes from where we're standing now all the way up to Fake Lake, and it comes out by the back gate. Um, Unfortunately, two entrances are covered off because it'd be great to go in and have a look. But and what was its purpose back in the day? I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a boat yard just over there on the edge of the river. That's obviously that's long gone, but um, I don't know. It uses kind of a, a passageway, a safe passageway underneath the grounds and underneath the forest, the small forests up there. But this this literally goes from where we're standing now all the way onto the golf course. When we Half were in way. Shankill Castle, they told us that the servants had to use tunnels to come in and out because they weren't allowed to use the main entrance because they couldn't well be seen be. so it seems like it's the same kind of thing it could very well be um, this it's very i mean if you if, i don't know if you can get a good view inside but if you actually look inside it goes in quite a way and it goes down the steps down and then it goes off to the right yeah. so uh, most of scare week this week has been what we might call constituted fear where things are programmed to happen tonight was a little bit different where it was just a general eerie feeling as we explored the woods and uh, from the old mines and paths here in County Waterford. Didn't see anything ourselves, but I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't dying to get out of here and get home to my couch and bright lights and TV. But uh, I just want to say a big thanks to Alex for his guidance this evening. Thanks for coming out. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep exploring with more Scare Week next year.